Hello everyone, and today we're back into another top five, and today we are talking about the top five body crash Lumians in all of Lumian Legacy. So body crash is the move that uses your melee defense over your melee attack, and uses it as its own attack, which makes Lumians with really high melee defense hit very hard. So let's head right into this top five right now. So number five under the list is actually going to be odd, because it's going to be Knight. And I think a lot of people tend to forget that Seer Knight actually has Body Crash, and the Seer Knight doesn't even have it on it. But it actually is alright with Body Crash, because if it's 125 melee defense, it's pretty hard. And also, since it's Brawler coverage, it can hit all the pesky bug types, which is nice. It sounds very good on paper, I mean, you know, Body Crash hit bug types and ice types? Awesome. But there is one crucial flaw with Seer Knight getting Body Crash. It's the only Lumion on this list that doesn't have an ability that increases its melee defense. Instead, it has an ability that lowers the opponent's melee attack. While that is actually really good for forcing swap outs, it's not really good for using Body Crash on. And that's the thing. Every other Body Crash user on this list actually has an ability to either increase their melee defense after taking contact, or just increases their defense in general, making Body Crash hit harder in general. So... Seer Knight really struggles with Body Crash, and plus, there's just a lot of other moves that it could use over Body Crash, and that's why people don't really use Body Crash on it that much. It's a very good Body Crash user when you do use it correctly, but other moves replace it, and that's why Seer Knight is on the bottom of the list, despite having very good potential with Body Crash. So yeah, number four to this list is actually going to be Barak. Yes, people might be shocked that Borok is on the list. It has resilience and body crash and bulk up. This thing is really good. And while it only has a melee defense of 90, with resilience, it actually does add up. And it has a little move called quicksand, meaning that you can trap melee attackers in, and there is nothing they can do about it. Later in this fight, we're going to trap a Seer Knight with quicksand, and there's nothing the Seer Knight can do against this Bora. And I can just set up for free and do some heavy damage with Body Crash. That's the thing that makes Borok good, and it does have a solid melee attack, meaning that it can actually still use Earthquake and hit the fire types very hard. It has Earth Brawler, which is just amazing. It's amazing offensively, and just makes Borok really scary. The only reason Borok is not in the top three is because it has no way of healing itself. Plus, it has the lowest melee... I think it has the lowest melee defense out of any Lumion on this list besides number three. But even then, number three has an ability to increase its defense when Borok needs to get hit in order for it to happen. Plus, it is pretty heavily reliant to run Health Amulet. But if you do run it with Health Amulet, this thing can be extremely powerful if not careful. Like, And it has all right range defense, meaning that it could still live range hits if it needs to. Borok is really scary, and it's definitely one of the best body crash users in all of Lumion Legacy. So number three onto this list is actually going to be Garbantis. Garbantis has the same melee defense as Borok, but it has an ability called Trash Armor, which increases its melee defense by 50%, so its defense is actually a little bit higher. Plus, it's the only Lumion on this list that has Battering Ram and Body Crash. It could use both. Meaning that you do not have to invest in your melee attack at all. You could draw, and plus Body Crash can pretty much hit all the stuff that Earthquake can hit, except for Fire types, which even then, Body Crash can still hit neutrally, so it's not the end of the world. It also has Burrow, which uses less energy than Bulk Up, and it can Poison. You could throw a Poison if your Garbantis isn't in a great situation. That's what makes Body Crash Garbantis so good. It has so much going for it. And you can, honestly, I think it's better to run Boots Robust, but I'm not sure about that one. I have to test that still. But... Having Burrow and Body Crash makes Garbantis really scary. And Trash Armor only sweetens the deal. If it wasn't for Trash Armor, Garbantis would probably be number 5. But since it has Trash Armor, it makes Garbantis extremely scary. Because it has one of the highest melee defenses in the game because of Trash Armor. It really adds up. The only reason my Garbantis is only number three is because the other two Lumians on this list is, are basically broken. So, yeah, we're going to head to them right now. So, number two onto this list is actually going to be 
Tondrolin! Wow, Tondrolin! How did this Lumion get past the drawing board? Although, it has fallen a tiny bit. It's still very scary, and a nerf isn't coming with it. It's, I think it's going to drop Rejuvenate, which is going to make it really rough. And if it doesn't, I think it's actually going to nerf Resilience. But Tundralin is scary. It's amazing. High melee defense. Has bulk up. Has an ability to increase melee defense. Has body crash to hit hard. And Rejuvenate. I mean, how does this Lumion get past the drawing board again? It doesn't. The only reason it's not number one is because the number one Lumion has a better defensive typing. That's it. That's the only reason number one is better. Other than that, Tundralin can honestly be better than number one if you consider it. Although I've str I have not struggled with Tundralins as much recently. I've learned to adapt, and I've learned to find ways to counter Tundralin, which has worked out better. Plus, Spirit types do kind of wall Tundralin. Unlike the number one, who can actually hit them super effectively in return. So... Yeah, that's honestly the reason why Tundralin is not number one, but it's still one of the most OP Lumions in the game, and it's probably going to get nerfed, and it probably deserves a nerf, because my gosh, this thing is so tanky. It's so overpowered. It deserves to be on this list. The best body crash user in all of Lumion Legacy is Obsidragon. Yeah, Obsidragon is over Tundralin, and that is with it having be slumber over Rejuvenate. But it has Ancient Stab. Ancient Stab can hit Spirit type super effectively. So the stuff Body Crash can't hit, Primal Slash can hit. You also have Drudge to increase your speed. You have Burrow to increase your melee defense. And my gosh, you have Beast Slumber. Beast Slumber increases your melee and range defense while you heal health back. And for something that has resilience, that is O. P as heck. Obsidragon is one of the hardest Lumions to play around. I mean, I had battles where I went up against Zephlin. Zephlins can't even take it out. And it can eventually defeat you at Body Crash. In this clip, this is a plus six Avatross against a plus zero Obsidragon. Okay? This is a plus six Avatross against a plus zero Obsidragon. Let this sink in. How much damage do you, do you think Avatross one-shots at plus six? Let's see. Do you think it one-shots at plus six? It doesn't. It only brings it down to half HP. And then I beat some of the HP back at the plus two, and I will beat the Avatross despite it outplaying me. Obsidragon is broken. It is the most annoying Lumion in the game and the best body crash user in all of Lumion Legacy. And here it is, Obsidragon, the best body crash user in all of Lumion Legacy. What are some other body crash Lumions that I left off the list that y'all want to talk about? Explain to that in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me talking about the best body crash Lumions, and I will see y'all all later. Bye-bye!